to be biodynamic and what it is to do biodynamics because there is a great difference. Um, and I will have to explain why I asked this question or why I want to talk about it. And I think many of us want to talk about the same thing. Because my experience in Italy is a difficult one. Um, but why? Because many of the farms that seek biodynamic certification you know, they have this idea that they're just going to make bella figura for one day when somebody comes to visit, and get certification, and that's it. But they haven't got a clue of what biodynamics is. They haven't got a clue. Um, and this is quite dangerous for us because we can't expect the certificating agency, in this case Demeter, to deal with this issue. You know, we as farmers, are the ones that have to deal with this issue. Because Demeter works on the fact that there is a great deal of trust in us. We cannot work without faith in each other. And they work in this respect. But what's happening in these last years is that we're going for Demeter certification because with it, we can sell our products more. Or for more, or in a better way. This is becoming a crisis that Demeter can't deal with. It's not their, in, in a way, it's not really their role to deal with it. What we need to understand is that when we look towards Demeter certification, we wish to enter a brotherhood that has as a task to develop a future for mankind, that without us, there isn't one. This is, this is really the point of the issue, no? And so, in a sense, what we have to ask ourselves, and I don't think the answer is so easy, is why am I doing biodynamics? Why am I doing biodynamics? We can ask ourselves every day, no? And the answer is not going to come straight away. It will take time before we're honest in enough with ourselves to be able to find an answer and the weaknesses in our work, you know? But we need to ask ourselves every day, why am I doing biodynamics? Why do I do it? Because if we're doing biodynamics, because we wish to gain certification, it all feels good, no, and everything, um, and sell our products, then biodynamics itself is going to fail. It already has failed. You know, where can we go today and find a biodynamic, complete organism? But not just with all the types of plants and animals that work together, but the people inside that also make a part of this culture. Even on our farm, we work very hard to try and develop consciousness with the people who are working on our farm. It's a nightmare. It, it, it really is. And, and well, we could say, okay, we've got animals, cultures, it all works in a sustainable way, but not with our workforce. It is a very difficult question, or, or a difficult issue to face. And so, you know, I think today what I wanted to do with coming here to speak with you is share with you the fact that something's wrong. It's not going the right way. No, and we have to deal with it. And, and I thought, oh, you know, Demeter, they should do this, they should do that. No, it's not down to them. No, they're a certifying agency, and they trust us. No, and they can only work by trusting us. We're the ones that are failing. And I say this with my experience in Italy. No, I don't, I have some experience here in Austria wonderful people that you are, well, we're thinking of moving here. And, um, <laughs> but really today I wanted to talk to you about um, these things, right, but go at why, you know, because these are the things that should be the issues that we're working with, and certainly not Demeter certification to sell our wines. 
No. We have to support Demeter with our convictions, with taking on the responsibilities that we have, those true responsibilities, and we have still to develop biodynamic farms. We're a hundred years almost after Cobblewitz, no, and there have been many problems and there are many obstacles that are against us or have been against us. And it's but this world needs us to do what's right. And they really need us to respond to the world of agriculture and desperately to the animal world, who can do nothing but suffer. We evolve through suffering. They suffer, full stop, for our evolution. Now, so we have a huge debt to the animal world. But the world needs us to show them how we can develop a relationship, on what ideas we can develop a relationship. And this will also be the ground that we walk on in the future. Okay, so I hope I've not been, um, I've opened what I call a, a Pandora's box. No, it, it, the problems we, um, I, and I think you are having when we think about biodynamic farms and what we see around us. We have to be developing um, a more sincere approach to biodynamics because we have the task of responding, not giving examples of how we can work for the future. With the underlying fact that if we do not do this, humanity is finished. Let's all go enjoy ourselves because it's finished, it's just a question of time. No, and this, this Steiner was really, he didn't go on about these things, but you know with Rudolf Steiner, he said, when he said a phrase, sometimes it would be as heavy as a ton. No, just a few words, and when he says that the earth is dying, that it's our task to give life to the earth so that humanity has a basis for which to evolve. And that's our task. Okay, any questions? I'm hoping, uh, I will speak about a little bit of the future now, that with regards to an organism, it's really difficult, you know, to do various cultures and not monocultures. Because if today, the, the only real agricultural economy in Europe is wine. If you make grains, it's a disaster. You know, if milk, is a disaster. We're just not able to <coughs> develop the right market for our products, except in wine. In wine is a world of its own, you know, that brings. And sometimes you can get the feeling that if I develop other animals and other cultures, it all depends on what I can make from the wine, because the other cultures, they don't make any money. And this is a difficult issue, no? um, but that we have to face because it's not our task to make wine. Our task is to develop farming organisms as an example for the future. Because we know that agriculture is in total crisis.